Welcome to Violin Adventures number 89. We jump right into making varnish and I kind of hurried through this section and you'll see why as you get further in the video. Then we get into our challenging cello. Progress is being made. Hope you enjoy. But wait, hold it. A shout out to Mike Krenecki who special ordered two of my violins and now he has a special case for them. Take a look. The two very special violins just got a new very special case. Okay, we're ready to continue making our varnish. So we have our powdered Venice turpentine. We have our cooking pot. Our sun thickened linseed oil. And some extra turpentine. And our scale. Now we can get started. First thing I'm going to do is weigh the Venice turpentine to find out how many times the recipe we're going to make. Okay, we're back outside to finish up the varnish, so we've got to put it in the pot here. And again, we're going to heat this up slowly until it begins to settle down. Okay, it's time to add the turpentine. Okay, I just left for maybe a couple minutes and I'm back out here. This is settled way down. That's very good. Got a really nice piece of cheesecloth. Now the cheesecloth I've bought in the store, the holes are way too big and I can't use it. But this, I saw my dad order this for his bees for straining the honey. And this is really nice. So we're going to try that. I used to use old sheets, which worked fine, but this may work even better. Okay, y'all, you missed the whole thing. I brought in my, that's because I turned the camera on, but I didn't punch the play button. So I just poured this into this beautiful cheesecloth and it worked beautifully. And I'll let this cool down and check on it. It's very, very hot still, even with that added turpentine. So I'll let it cool down and check on it maybe in an hour. Next, the challenging cello. Yeah, that heater is ready. And our poor cello over there really needs some lining. So. We got the bending done for the linings. Okay, y'all were correct. These strips are uh, for the lining and they are pine. And the reason why I'm using pine is because it matches with what was in there originally. So here's the original lining, which is pine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use pine again. Normally I'll use willow, I'm going to go ahead and put the lining in. So I have my lining here fitted and we'll glue it in with some new fresh glue. And I've got all 
all my weights here because I don't have enough uh, long clamps. Back to varnish making. Well, here we are back again. This is the bottle of varnish that we just made. And I tried it out on a little piece of wood and it's just too dark. And I've made this recipe many, many times over the years and I've never had it this dark. So here's what I think is going on. I had to buy a new hot plate just recently and I got the cheapest one and I'm thinking that the hot plate goes too hot and so I cooked the Venice turpentine too much till it got too dark that's what I'm thinking happened and I don't want to put a dark brown this is a very dark brown for just one coat if there's too much dark in it um, on that violin I want a lighter Here we go boiling again. This is at medium and I probably won't go much higher than this. Let it calm down and then we'll check it out. Okay, here we are. It's near the end of the day and I'm trying the last time, hopefully this is the last time we're cooking the linseed oil, waiting for it to calm down and then we'll add our Venice turpentine.
Well, here we are. I have my new jar of varnish. It's got a nice golden look and it's very clear. And I think it's going to be good. But what I'm doing right now is checking it on a board here, making sure it's going to dry properly. So maybe tomorrow we can get to the first coat. We'll see how this varnish turns out. Back to the cello. Well, here is our cello under surgery. We got all kinds of clamps on here. And the next thing I need to do is take all of these clamps off. Okay, all the clamps are off, and I've been working on the inside, just trying to clean it up a bit and take down the cleats a little bit. I think it's got a good sound, and now I need to get these ribs down uh, to the right height. So that's what we're doing now. Back to our YouTube violin. I'm going to go ahead with the first coat of varnish and I'm not putting any coloring in it. And it should be just a very light golden color. Okay, here's the violin with its first coat. Our Hebrew Minute. Odka al ki naraot nifleti niflaim maasecha vanafshi yadaat maod. I will praise you because I am fearfully or with awe and wonderfully made or created. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. And if you have a favorite verse you would like to hear in the Hebrew, put it in the comments below. Well, here it is, the end of the week. Beautiful skies up above. And a nice, pleasant day, probably around the 70s right now. 
we'll go in and see what's going on inside. Here we are in the violin workshop. We come to the cello. I worked on cleaning this up a bit, taking down the cleats just a little more and also working on the edges. And now we just need to probably put a sealer coat on the inside, put a label in, and think about getting this top on. Uh, over here is our YouTube violin with its first coat of varnish. Thank you all so much for watching and for all your thumbs up and your wonderful comments. And, and thank you to all you new subscribers. Welcome. And until next time, God bless you. Bye. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm having to zoom in in order to see them. But here they are and they're saying... Please, won't you come and visit?